What's going on YouTube? Rob A here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Revel Tech Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Donatello. Uh, now, this is the guy that uh, does machines, as uh, as you may or may not be aware. So, this is the Revel Tech version of Donatello, of course. It's got the Revel Tech joints, which I'm not a terribly huge fan of, but... Um, it looks overall pretty cool, and going by the other, uh, the other two turtles that I've already gotten to, to play around with, Raphael and Leonardo, uh, hopefully this guy will be pretty awesome as well. So you can see, he comes with an alternate face up here, kind of a drooly, crazy, love-struck face, uh, as well as a little heart that goes, I think, over his, yeah, over his little, uh, neck or something like that. Uh, he's got two, uh two versions of his bow staff. One has a blade that actually looks like it can uh, fold up there, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's got a little uh, sewer cover stand uh, with a fire hydrant as well. And on the back here just shows you some of uh, some of the posability. Shows you his uh, little um, bandana, how it can go around his back. These actually, the bandana actually controls the eye movement uh, in the face, which is pretty neat. Uh, so that's that's cool, and uh, just showing him off with the rest of his turtle brethren. So pretty cool altogether. I'm I'm excited to finally have all four of these guys in hand. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy open, and we will check him out in just a moment. All right, guys, here is Donatello from the Revel Tech Ninja Turtles, and uh, as you can see, he's a really nice representation of Donnie from the new uh, from the new cartoon show. And we're going to go over some of his aspects. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, just like the other turtles, he does come with some extra stuff. He's got, uh, let me back this up a little bit, he's got this little stand, which has his extra head on it, which I'll get into in just a moment. Uh, I think so far this is probably my favorite of the stands, just because it's kind of just a sort of straight up fire hydrant, although it is a little, sticking a little bit up from the ground, which is kind of weird. Uh, but they all come with the same exact uh, New York City sewer manhole cover. And same thing for all the turtles, have the same base plate. And then they all get this one little stand with a little Revel Tech joint sticking out of the top, so you can pose them using this little peg right back here. You know, if you wanted to have them jumping, leaping, or, you know, flipping upside down, whatever, whatever works for you. There you go. Uh, Donnie is unique amongst the turtles uh, in that he's the only one with an actual neck. Like, none of the other turtles have this little neck joint or neck thing here. And what you can do with that is you're supposed to take this little heart piece and just kind of, I guess, stick it up there or whatever. And then, uh, you know, plug the... <laughs> plug the, the head onto it and you're supposed to plug this head on and you can see he's got you know kind of the drooly heartbroken face um yeah so that's how that works uh but i'm not a fan of those or any of that nonsense so we are just going to show you here's a close-up of the drooly face and the heart there you go it's got a little thing on it, so you could put it on any of his limbs, I guess. You could, or maybe it's supposed to go. Yeah, it might be supposed to go over his arm. I don't know. That's so weird. But these these Revel Tech uh, pins are a pain in the butt to get out uh, correctly. So we're just gonna use our imaginations. There's his heart. There's his extra head. They're going into a bag where they will never be used again. Ha 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 ha. Uh, but here's a close up of his normal Donnie face. He does have the gap in his teeth here, as well as a little bit of paint overflow. Um, they actually, it's it's actually molded in gap, so that's pretty cool. And the best part of it is, if you have his head, like, from this angle on, you really can't see it. Like, it's not annoying, it doesn't get in the way, it doesn't look dumb, because uh, this gap does look pretty crazy on some of the Donatello figures I've seen. Um, but thankfully this one is really unobtrusive and he's got the same eyeball mechanism as the other turtles so he's got his reddish brown well, more red eyes and uh, they can leave and then if you want them whited out you just move them all the way over like so and he's got the 
movable bandana as well. Uh, moving right along, he's got all the joints you would expect from the Revel Tech Turtles at this point. He's got the uh, kind of ratchety arms that go up, and then, and then, and he's got the elbows. He's got the wrist swivel going on, which is handy, uh, and he's got <clears throat> uh, peg holes on the like on the inside palm, like right here, rather than here, which is where the other turtles have have the holes uh, for his bow staff. And uh, that actually plugs right into his shell, which is kind of weird. Like, I was hoping there'd be, you know, a little thing to hold it, and you just slide it in. Um, or even, you know, like, split it in half and slide it in. But no, they want you to just kind of plug it into the back, which is, I guess, I guess fine. It's a little cheaty, but it's all right. He's got a very, very tall, very narrow shell. Uh, he does still have the same uh, ab crunch as the other turtles. And I believe he actually, you can get a little wiggle out of him there as well. <coughs> it is, as far as I can tell, just another Revel Tech joint. Um, <clears throat> but I don't feel comfortable enough just pulling on it to really mess with it. Um, so there is that. But he's got the leg movement. And his legs are a little bit thinner, so he can actually get a little bit more um, leg out to the side kind of motion and his legs are a little longer as well uh, he's got the knee bend and the ankle tilts uh, and all that kind of good stuff he comes with two staves you got this one with the big blade on it and this regular one as well and that they're both the same and this guy you can actually flip the blade down if you so desire uh, so you can have it kind of in a, uh, you know, in the closed position, or you can just flip it up, and it stays in place very nicely there. So, really very cool, very poseable, just like the rest of his uh, bros. Uh, you can have him, <laughs> I guess, sit kind of like this. And again, that's that's my biggest issue with the Revel Tech joints is they are they are very difficult to actually like rotate uh, because they just want to kind of pop in half and then once you've got something kind of moved it's hard to sometimes get it back so that can be very annoying as I've mentioned I think in all of these turtle reviews so far but overall uh, I really do like Donnie he's got it, it's very um, very tight uh, post hole to get into his wrist so it can be a little little harrowing but just wiggle it around a little bit and you should be able to get it just fine um, but overall very very cool and I can get him back into my uh, into my display pose for this guy which is the uh, kind of the over the shoulder Stick this on his back, get that put away. And he is the uh, the tallest of the turtles. There you go. So there is Donnie. Here's a comparison. Here is Leonardo. Raph. So there you go. The first three of the Revel Tech Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, they're pretty awesome. Again, not the biggest fan of the Revel Tech joints, but once you get used to them, uh, you can get some really, really cool poses out of these guys, and I think uh, I think they're well worth it. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching, as always. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.